Hi, I'm Jack and I work with Game Wagon, which is the company that runs what we're sat in right now. This is the Game Wagon. So we've been operating since sort of towards the end of last year. And we started out doing kids' birthday parties and we've moved into corporate events, weddings, that kind of thing. Kids' birthday parties are really our bread and butter at the moment. And since we started, we've done over 200 parties now in about five months. So it's going really well. Um, we're also doing a number of other things in terms of supporting the industry. So at the moment we're here showing a gadget show live and yesterday and the day before we were showing off an indie title, Chompy Chomp Chomp, which is made by indie developers Utopian World of Sandwich. And we've had a great response from that and it really fits with what we do in terms of very simple kids games that can be enjoyed by everyone. So it's an idea that we saw in the US. Our CEO John's son saw it and said, Dad, you've got to do this, this would be amazing. But they do it with Winnebago's and RVs and those colossal machines that they have in America. Now that would not work on a country road in England. You're not going to get that onto someone's drive. So we've scaled it down. And we've got kind of the biggest vans we can get that you can comfortably get through a village or a hamlet. So I think we've still got the presence that those vans have, but we also have the portability to fit into the English infrastructure, which is just obviously very difficult at the time. So that's why it's a van, uh, and that's why it works so well. That's why this is our fourth one. My dad got me an Amiga when I was five, so that was my start, and I had this great big, you know, kind of greyish box, I didn't know what it was, and a lock box filled with about 30 or 40 blank floppies. Being five years old, I never had the presence of mind to mark them. So every time I picked up to play a game, I never knew what I was getting. But I played some classics, like stunt car racing is the one that really sticks in my mind. So from there I went on to PlayStation and the Metal Gear Solid series is something that's always stayed with me since the first Metal Gear Solid game. And it's really just been an addiction and a really big part of my life ever since. You know, I went to Unity Biology and realised all I want to do is games. So. That's why I'm in games now. A big part of this job is testing the games and knowing what we, what's going to work. And I've spent a lot of grueling man hours trying to work out the best modes for games. And yeah, it's an awful job just playing games all day, but someone's got to do it.